Hi there, it's early evening on Saturday and it's time for Skittles Vodka Part 2. Um, last episode I proved that I'm pretty good at um, putting them into the infusion bottles, explaining what I'm doing and failing really hard at recognising colours. But I'll see if I can um, correct in that today. So, thank you for waiting everybody. Um, let's have a look at the vodka shall we? I'll show you how it's getting on so far and what I'll be needing for this time. Okay, so here's the infusion bottles. It's been a couple of days. See what I mean about the crud building on the top? That's also kind of floating in there. You can't really see it through these, but yeah. Although, the Skittles have completely gone. Complete, dissolve, complete dissolving. I haven't actually checked whether it's all of them. There's some in the bottom of there. Yep. Good. That means I can carry on and do the, actually do the vid and not have to wait for it. So, this time, for reference, I'm going to need the uh, infusion bottles filled with the dissolved Skittles in the vodka that we used from last time, obviously. Measuring jug, funnel, filters. Now, these are just basic coffee filter papers. You know, I've got them quite cheaply off of an online website. And these can be the bottles I'll be putting them into. Because I'm dead fancy like that. Also, reasonably inexpensive off of... Uh, popular online retailer. Right, step one. What colour shall I fill up first? You know what, we read right to left. Let's do red first. Okay, I've doubled up with the filters over my measuring jug. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna give it a go. I won't be able to do an action shot, so I've got no one to hold the camera for me. No sign of Lewis at the moment. So, I wanna just go ahead and do it as close as the window because it's a bit windy. Let's see how this goes. Okay, this is taking a bit longer than I expected it to, but should be ready fairly soon, I hope. You see it's kind of filtering, dripping. And this vodka at the bottom is looking fairly clear at the moment, so we could be having success. Anyway, more to follow. Okay, that's really coming through now. Um, that's all of Bottle one, which I've now rinsed in case I need to use it again. Or wherever it's coming through. It looks pretty clear, I'd say. As you can see, that's the crud that's coming off of it. It's all kind of fizzly and gooey. This is why you filter it. Because that stuff, I don't know how it tastes. I'll have to taste it afterwards. Don't worry, I will film myself for the lols. Okay, I'm going to leave that filtering fairly happily. And we'll come back to it when it's done. All right, that's one color done. As you can see, about 300 mil, pretty much spot on. That's what's left of the filter. I kind of squeezed out the last few drops. So it's looking quite clear. Let's hold it to the light and have a better look. It's pretty clear, right? I'd say, yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, it doesn't want another filter. That probably could probably just be poured. I'll pour it into one of my presentation bottles. Well, the I don't know what you're going to call them. Call them decanting bottles, presentation bottles. Uh, well, whatever. It doesn't matter. They're the ones I'm putting them into. So, I'll do that, and then we'll see what it looks like. Okay, it's in. As much as I could fit. Although, let's see how it looks. So I reckon that's still a little bit cloudy. So, I reckon one more time through a single filter we'll probably do that. So I'm going to do, I'm going to back in its now rinsed out infusion bowl, run it through a single filter paper. When I run it through before, it was a double filter paper. So I run it through a single one, and that should take out the, the end of the cloudiness. I'll report back when done. Okay, so stream through a lot faster this time, because there's only one filter paper, but it is coming through very clear. So good. After this one, I reckon the product's going to be complete. I can pop it back into its um, now empty presentation bottle, which I'm just about to give a good rinse. And I'll show you that when it's decanted. That's better. That's the finished product. Well, not yet. I'm going to put the lid on. But yeah, that is red Skittles vodka. Now, 
for the lid on make it official and the lid's on that is Pete's Skittles Vodka yay you see how clear it is by seeing things through it yeah no, these are gonna, this is going to look great when it's presented okay so lid works good now repeat the process for these don't worry i'm not going to video each individual one you can see what i did for this one i'm just going to repeat the process for each of the colors this uh yeah this could take a while okay so this is yellow on its first inf uh, first infiltration first filtration it's just a little bit left in the infusion bottle and let's give it a bit of a top up you can see the crud building up on the top yeah, see all that crap? But this is why you filter it. So you don't want to be drinking that crap. Well, I will try some, as I said I will do. And I'd like to take the opportunity just to say, this is Skittles Vodka. Not to be confused with Skittle Brew, which is an entirely different thing. I haven't looked it up, but I think Skittle Brew is something along the lines of um, mixing the Skittles with beer. So it just makes different colour bubbles. <laughs> yeah right let's carry on okay i had a bit of a mishap with you the um i got a bit complacent left the filter on there went and to rinse out and the filter kind of fell in yeah so i carried filtering from that time but i decided it definitely need another filter although now it's looking pretty good it's looking pretty good that's almost all there let's do a one-handed there we go that's the last of the yellow. Notice I'm getting complacent again with the same one, but hey, it's fine. So we finished red behind it, always looking good. Time's got on a bit. Oh, while we're here, remember last time I mentioned this corner about the kitchen? It's getting done now. Obviously it's not finished, but it's further along than it was. The guy's come in and done his job for the day. I'll keep you updated as we go on with that. But anyway, let's carry on. Okay, I've been at this mixing lot quite a while now. Um, it's half past nine in the evening. You probably saw the clock when I started a bit earlier. But hey, I'll give you a look at how it's going on so far and how much crud, some kind of purple jizz that's coming off of the purple one. Check this out. Yeah, that's uh, the remainder of the purple bottle. You can see the reason for it being filtered. Yeah, check that out. I have tried the um, the stuff on the top, and yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. It's a bit vile. Although the comparison between that and that is quite big. The filtration process is definitely worth it. Check this out so far. Looking good, right? Obviously, the empty ones just waiting for the purple. These are going to look good when they're presented, I hope. Hope, um, I think I like them. Finished. It's now 10 o'clock. That was a lengthy process. Each one of them needed a couple of different times filtering. The first one with, um, with three of the paper filters put together. The second time with just one of the filters. So yeah, I think they look pretty good. I think they've turned out quite well. Yeah. They're going to look good when they're presented. Well, I hope they like them anyway. So yeah, I've got to go clean up. Once again, these are just neat vodka with flavour. So please drink responsibly. Sorry if I sound tired. That's because I am. Go get some energy drink. So yeah, that is Skittles Vodka. Um, feel free to make any comments or suggestions. If you want me to do any more mixology, make any other um, types of drinks, let you guys know how to do it. Um, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and see you soon. Okay, just a quick reference, so it's nice and easy to remember, the back of the video. Okay, step one. Put your vodka into your infusion bowls, an equal amount in each one, into five small, like 500ml water bottles. Step two, sort your skittles into colours. Put them all into all different colours. And then put the each... What, each colour into a different infusion bottle. So three, 
wait 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 at least two maybe three days for the um the skittles to dissolve into the vodka so four filter each individual color remember to wash your measuring jug after each time you do your filtering and the filtering is going to require pouring through three filters and then through one filter that's what i found worked best for me anyway you might find something different that works better for you and um, once they're filtered put them straight in step five if you like was it step five i can't remember anyway next step put them into your presentation bottles now what i'm going to do is i'm going to put them in the freezer because vodka's got a very low freezing point so it's going to be really nice and chilled and tasting awesome if it's chilled to sub-zero temperatures and i'll present them in a few days once again thanks for watching